Yo, what's up with you guys? It's your boy CBZ, and I am bringing you guys my first ever Red Dead Redemption 2 video uh, for online. I don't plan on doing any kind of like story mode shit. I really just wanted the game for online. I did beat the story mode, did play it, of course. But in this video, I'm going to try to tell you guys how to get way more kills in the Showdown series. And what I mean by that is my average, I've noticed from playing the Showdown series so much, is like the main thing I like to play, is that I hit my shots more than most people on the game. And like people I've played with and like other people like I've talked to on the game that I've like encountered the, like I'm way more accurate than anybody that like I play with ever like I don't think I found someone that's as accurate as me on the game and maybe I'm just like you know tripping or getting over my head but like literally my average on every match is usually my kills are at the top of the leaderboard like I usually get 20 plus kills every game and showdown series most of the time I don't ever see people get 20 plus kills like some of the people I play with that play showdown the highest they've seen in a lobby is like 19 kills and I average over 20 kills I feel like I got some creepy ass technique that just allows me to like cheat and head shot everybody but honestly that is the trick right there like what i just said headshotting everybody is the key to getting high kill gameplays my highest kill gameplay is playing in the background right now it's actually a 47 kill game uh, i should have got 50 honestly but i was going i wasn't going for a high kill game like this is literally just how i usually play i'm gonna give you guys about three tips which could increase your accuracy in this game tip number one believe it or not is your gun you are using the gun you are using is kind of important it's not that important i usually run the Farmant rifle and the pump shotgun because the pump shotgun once you get up close is just a monster and you can one shot people if you hit your shot and you're close enough it's just a good gun to have now the reason i use the varmint rifle this is where people start usually questioning what i'd be doing because at first i bought it because it was one of the cheaper guns in the game the first one to unlock but that's not why i stuck with it i have the lancaster now the bold action and all that it's just the varmint rifle is the most accurate gun in the game that's a rifle and a lot of people don't use the varmint rifle because of the damage is so shitty I'm not gonna lie to you. The damage is really shitty. Like you can literally shoot somebody in the chest about seven or six times and they still won't be dead. And I'm not exaggerating. Like I'm being actually like serious. And that's why a lot of people I feel like don't use that gun. But if you aim for the head, it actually doesn't matter because it's still a one shot kill no matter what, as long as you hit them in the head. So personally, I use the varmint rifle. You can use stuff like the carbine repeater and the bolt action and the Lancaster repeater. They're all good guns. They just, and they're not as accurate. And there's a part that plays into it that's gonna go into the second tip, which I'm I'm gonna move on to right now the second tip is the white circle and what i mean by the white circle is is on red dead you have your reticle which is the white dot in the middle of your screen if you don't know when you're aiming now the key to aiming on red dead is not just putting your white dot on somebody that is not the key to hitting your shots 100 percent do not just think oh my white dots on them bam they're gonna die no that's not how that works on red dead if you've never noticed which most people have noticed the white circle there's like a like a kind of faded white circle that starts off big around your reticle and then it closes as you're aimed in that is what you want to use to aim with when your white circle gets as small as it's gonna get like and it almost covers your reticle as soon as like it almost hits your reticle that's when you want to shoot because that's when you'll be the most accurate which is a kind of a big reason why i use the varmint rifle is because the rate of fire is quick like you can keep reloading shooting it's got 14 bullet clip but it's accurate and when it's more accurate that circle closes quicker so as soon as i aim that circle is almost already closing and that's basically what you want to do you want to wait till that circle's finna close completely and you want to shoot and that's when you'll hit your shots now the third tip and this is the most important tip in the game this is where you also want to incorporate your sensitivity in the game my sensitivity i started off lower i put my dead zone up a little bit like i'm gonna put my sensitivity on the screen right now my sensitivity i I started off actually slower i have my look sensitivity like my looking around sensitivity maxed out because i like to be able to look around me quick i've always been a higher sensitivity person in games sensitivity is still a personal preference but there is still things you should recommend to people like you shouldn't go too low no matter even if you're a lower sensitivity player don't go too low like because then you'll just get you won't be able to hit your shots and then by the time you end up aiming at somebody's head you're gonna get fucking hit and it's just there's a limit to how low you should go with your sensitivity but there's also not really a limit to how high you should go as long as you can control it and you can hit your shots you should be fine but one tip i can say the dead zone sensitivity setting i actually had that about a little bit lower than halfway at first when i first started playing and the reason i did this i feel like a lot of people don't understand what the dead zone sensitivity is and i didn't understand it at first i don't know like i didn't really understand what it meant dead zone like i didn't know what it was talking about now that i fully understand what the fuck it is i've lowered it in completely basically just so you guys can understand the dead zone sensitivity is like your responsiveness like if i flick my analog stick if you have your dead zone up it's not going to flick your analog stick basically exactly 
how you flick your analog stick. There's going to be like a, it's like it's not going to catch every single thing you do. Now, when you lower your dead zone, however you flick your joystick is how it's going to aim is basically what your dead zone is. Like if I barely touch my analog stick, it's going to catch it when you have your dead zone as low as it possibly can go. That's basically what it's there for. So I put my dead zone all the way down. You want to put that all the way down so it's as responsive as it possibly can be because you want your controller to be responsive. When you touch something on your controller, you want it to have no delay. You want it to do it then. For your actual, your aiming and look and sensitivity, your third person shit when you're just looking around, that doesn't really matter. That's all personal preference. I max mine out. Now your aim down sights. This here is where I excel at. I started off a little lower with my aim sensitivity. Like it was kind of really slow actually to be honest. And I don't know why I put it so slow, but I was hitting my shot so I felt comfortable with keeping it slower. And then I realized my main problem with the slower sensitivity in this game, this is the key to aiming right here. Aim assist is the way you want to hit all your shots. Most games, some aim assist is going to help you, but sometimes it can like fuck you over and shit like that. With Red Dead, here is the number one problem for aiming in Red Dead. When people aim in, when they click L2 and it locks onto somebody, as soon as that circle closes or as soon as they just lock onto somebody, they shoot. That is your biggest problem. Like I've played with people that are like, man, I can't ever hit nobody. If you click L2 and like let your aim assist lock onto them and then you instantly shoot or wait for the circle to close and then shoot, you're not going to hit because you're just letting the aim assist do all the work and lock in. It is the most simplest thing when you get it down and this is why I can get so many kills in a game. The trick to getting headshots is as soon as you aim in and it locks onto them, you want to find that range of how far you have to pull your analog stick up to hit their head. That's going to be something you're going to have to practice with and just kind of like figure out what that range is. When I had it slower, my main problem was I would lock on and by the time I would aim up to their head and I'd get the reticle to actually be at their head, I would actually get shot by the time I actually got it on their head. So that's why I kind of increased my aim sensitivity is because there would be too many times where I would aim and then I would try to pull my analog stick slightly up just to be on their head. I would get shot in that process of me doing that. And that's why the higher sensitivity kind of comes in handy, but it still is a personal preference. I mean, you can sacrifice, you feel like you're going to hit your shots a little more, but you can also take that con of like, you might get shot in the process. That's why I kind of increased mine. I might increase mine again, but I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have to find out, play the game more. Might turn it up to see if I like it, if I don't. But I recommend don't have it too low. Don't, I wouldn't have it beneath halfway, honestly. Like have it above halfway. But that literally is the biggest key to aiming. Most people click L2. They let the aim assist lock on. They shoot. That is the biggest problem. You want to get used to locking onto them, slightly pulling your analog stick up and shoot. That's literally my process every time I shoot at somebody. And here's the thing. If you miss your shot, here's a problem with like more newbier players in the game because this is how most games work. You know, something like Call of Duty. You shoot, you miss a shot. You just keep holding down and shooting. That's not what you need to do in Red Dead. The guns are all shoot, reload, shoot, reload. You can't just shoot, 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 shoot. It's not automatic. So when you miss your shot, like let go of L2 and then hit it again to lock on and then repeat that process. If I lock onto somebody, miss a shot, or if it doesn't kill them and I don't hit the head, let go, aim in again, and then slightly pull your analog stick up and aim for the head. That's the whole process. That is the key. You want to try to hit the head every time. Never aim for the body. That is literally why I get so many kills. Most of the time, I one shot kill people because I'm only aiming for the head. Like I'm literally only aiming for the head. I never aim just to hit somebody unless maybe I got the pump shotgun. And even then, I still kind of pull my analog stick up. As you can see, like in some of my gameplays, if I ever use a shotgun, I'll slightly pull my analog stick up because I'm trying to hit a headshot every time. But after a while, your fingers will literally get used to the pattern of like aiming in, slightly pulling it up, boom. Aiming in, slightly pulling up, boom. Because that's the thing. No matter how far away somebody is, you're basically still going to be pulling your analog stick up that same amount almost every time. So it almost becomes muscle memory how far you need to pull your analog stick up. I would get a sensitivity you like, stick with it. Because if you don't stick with it and you're constantly changing it, that's going to fuck with your muscle memory and you're not going to remember how far you should go up. So the more consistent you are with your sensitivity, the more that muscle memory is going to kick in and it's just going to become natural for you. Just aim in, pull up, shoot. Aim in, pull up, shoot. But that literally is the key. So first of all, the white circle. Second of all, use an accurate weapon third of all your sensitivity dead zone needs to be all the way down your aiming should be a little bit above halfway but you can kind of tweak it how you want to if you want to add me and you want to play red dead you want to play showdown or you want to join my posse uh you can add me original cbc i don't add a lot of people but if you do like playing showdown you can hit me up because i like playing showdown i don't like roaming around just doing bullshit sometimes i do but i gotta be playing with my friends if i'm playing alone i play showdown and uh yeah hopefully this video helped you guys aim if you want more red dead let me know down in the comments and uh yeah leave a like on the video if this helps you out or if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new that's all for you boy cbz hopefully this video helped you and i am out peace